So we are in the year 2022, uh, baseball, basketball, hockey, major sports. You know what I mean? Baseball is one of those sports where it's, it's kind of fallen behind. But one thing that is for sure is that these athletes are getting paid. They are getting money, no matter what sport you're in. Everybody's getting millions of dollars. Wouldn't you find it shocking if I told you that in 2022, Ken Griffey Jr. is the sixth highest paid player on the Cincinnati Reds roster? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I did not make that up. There is not a new Ken Griffey III in the third in the MLB. No, the Ken Griffey Jr. that you know and love drafted in 1987 played his first major league game in 1989 is the sixth highest paid player in 2022 on the Cincinnati Reds making 3.5 million dollars when did and he he's retire gonna, um 20 early like I, I don't even remember I can't remember the exact date the but point it was is, a while is ago is he's retired <laughs> right he doesn't play anymore right obviously yeah um but with that he is taking in money how is he taking in this money how is he doing this well when he signed with the reds initially it was actually in the year 2000 it was around the 2000s early 2000s so that's how long ago he signed with them he signed a nine-year contract for like over a hundred million dollars but what he did was he deferred half of his salary until now so from now until 2024, he will be collecting $3.5 million from the Cincinnati Reds every year, not playing a single game. Wow. Um, again, you're the sports guy. And yeah, I echo the sentiment. Wow. Um, is Allen Iverson in a similar situation? I heard he's going to be getting a bunch of guap later on. Did he right. do something okay, similar? So that's I was actually going to bring that up because this is the this is the point of having people smart people around you. You got to have smart people around you who are actually looking out for you. Right? Cuz a lot of these athletes will spend a lot of their money in those young years cuz it's coming in so frequently. Um Allen Iverson was one of those players who was about to flash. I guess his agent saw in him that he had trouble controlling his spending habits. And you know, when Allen Iverson got out the league, there was a few years where he was down on his luck. People used to make fun of him. And then the reports came out that he had a genius team behind him who decided that when he signed that Reebok deal, which the A1s are still A1 out here, you know, the, que the, the, the question, the mark, whatever you want to call it, he deferred the payments that he was going to get from the company, Reebok. And we're talking about, I think it's like $50 million. Yeah, it's a massive amount of money. He deferred it and he wasn't able to collect any of that money or be paid any of that money until he turned the age of 50. So he's now, I believe he's the age of 50 now. He's been 50 for a few years. That's why he's walking around with the drip. But $50 million came to him. And that was just because of a genius decision and patience. You know what? Um, genius. Very, very smart. Um, look, man, if you're a professional athlete, if you're in entertainment, whatever, especially if you're new to that kind of money, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Especially if you're young, you're going to spend like an idiot. You just are. You know what I mean? And it might not even be because your mind said is, oh, the money's never going to end. It might not even be that. It might just be like, I could die tomorrow, live for the day, whatever. Let me put, you know what I mean? And, 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 right. and you go with it. And fine. Not fine, but fine. But if you are going to do that, this deferral makes the most sense. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like getting your wild years out. You know, sowing your oats before you right. get married, before you right. settle down. So once you settle down, you don't have no reason to go back out there. It's kind of like the same thing. Let me take all this money and do whatever the hell I want to do with it because it's my money. But once I get to the age where I know I need to be mature and whatever else, I don't play anymore. I still got something. To th this is amazing. This is so good. Well, you got to think hard. about it's because so he good. At this point, Ken Griffey had already played, I think, 10 or 11 seasons in the majors. So he had a good. But think about how much money he was making, you know, because obviously he, at the one point he was the face of, of the of the of the league. He was everywhere. 
on Wheaties boxes. He had his own video games, yeah, was uh, know, merch. Yeah. yeah, he was going nuts, right? So he was probably making more money off the endorsements than he was off of his off of his baseball career. But imagine how much money you have to be making to be able to defer. And we're talking about three point five million dollars. It's 2022. I believe it's been four years, over four years that he's actually been getting this. So we're talking about $14 million. Imagine at those times too. We're not talking now where 14 million isn't really what 14 million used to be. We're talking $14 million in the late nineties, early two thousands. He said, no, 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 hold that. <laughs> hold that. Hold that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a push that uh, another decade, another 20 years. Sorry. Another 20 years. Let me push that. And I'll take it into 20 years. Thank you. Thank you, though. You could hold your $14 million. Like, wow. In those well, days, $14 million could buy you a small land, a no, small it's, it's, island. It's, 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 it's funny because, like, great message, but you can't just do that with anyone. especially right. that's the thing. Especially in, in, in 20, uh, 2022. Like, there's a lot of fly-by-night situations. The company looks great in the morning, and right. then it's just gone by the nighttime. Yep. Yep. Or you or you invested in that wrong NFT. <laughs> right. But I mean, this is Reebok we're talking about. Right. So, you know, they're not going anywhere. And um, uh, again, with, with Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson. Right. Yeah. Right. And, then, and course, the Seattle not, Mariners aren't going. They're not going anywhere, Reds are so. not going anywhere either. So, yeah. So, so you, you could do that with them. But, dude, when you sent me this story, I had to do a double take. I'm like, who? What, who is this about? This nigga don't play no more. Right. And right, then when right. I started reading the article, my understanding was. He was injured a lot. He barely even played. He played like 50% of the games. Right. So, so when he went to Cincinnati, <laughs> I mean, he was older when he went to Cincinnati, right? And it's funny because he had just come off a season where he was like MVP. He got all these awards. Uh, a few years before that, there was a lockdown. He was on pace to break the all-time home run record. So he was like peak Ken Griffey when he went to Cincinnati. He went to Cincinnati because for two reasons. Um, obviously, you can tell this is one of my favorite players. I know a lot about his story, okay, in case you couldn't tell by now. But he went to Cincinnati for two reasons. One, his, his children and his wife had a house in Florida. They went to school in Florida. And him playing in Seattle, the distance got to be too much for him. He couldn't see his kids a lot. And he used to speak about, because his father was a professional baseball player, he used to speak about being in a one-parent household and how it was his father not being able to be there for his kids. He didn't want to be that. The other thing that brought him to Cincinnati was the fact that his dad was actually one of the coaches on the team at the time. Nice. So him moving to Cincinnati, this shows another layer of, of uh, Ken Griffey. For him, right. it really wasn't about the money. It really wasn't about the fame. For him... He didn't do any of the of the of the uh, what is it called? PD, PEDs, performance enhancement drugs. He didn't do any of the steroids during the steroid era. He played the game in the way it was supposed to be played, and he played it for his family. You know what I mean? That's why I respect the fact that this is another move that he made. Wow, Ken Griffey to me had one of the greatest athletic careers I think of all athletes of all time, just based on the story that I know of him and the decisions he made. Why? And and this. It's just the icing, the cherry on top. Well, hold on for, for a second. Is Cincinnati pissed that they have to shell out this kind of guap? They 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 wrote up the contract, bro. What do you mean? They can't be mad at nothing. They knew it was coming. But they he, had a, but, they had but, how many years where they didn't have to pay him? I know, but 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 he barely played. Like according to the article you sent me, I'll be mad. They I don't I listen, this might have an impact on their actual like salary cap. I'm not really sure about that, but you have to think about the fact that for 20 years they didn't have to pay him anything. And now money isn't worth what it was back then. So $14 million to them now when their team is worth billions of dollars Ain't none. is not as bad as back then if they had paid them when their team was worth, you know, uh, some millions of dollars. Fair, fair point. You know what I mean? Look, viewing public, I think the lesson here is think about the long game, not the short one. There's way too many examples out here. Again, we talked about it with the Tyson, where we got these 80s and 90s and early 2000 icons walking around here begging for change, right? You know what I'm saying? So not literally, of course, but you get it. So think about the long game. This is an incredible story, and I have to salute that man for sure. Uh, viewing public, what are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Are there any other athletes or entertainers that have done something similar? Now I'm really curious. I want to know. All right, deuces.